To go to the sports carnival, B1, and look how hard everyone's practicing, B2. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. He got it. Good catch, Pedro. Oh, thanks, bananas. Ready to practice our three-legged race, B1? Ready, B2. Then off we go. Oh, oh sorry, B2. No problem, P1. Let's try going the other way. Go! <laughs> Hi, Bananas. Isn't this great? I can't wait for the sports carnival. What sports are you doing, Morgan? All of them. All of them? That's a lot of sports, Morgan. That doesn't worry me, because I've got my super teddy muscles and my favourite super fast sneakers. See? <laughs> What's wrong? Sorry, Morgan, but oh, your sneakers are a little bit stinky. I've never lost a race when I've worn these sneakers. That's why they're my favourites. Right. right. Gotta go. I've ten more laps to do before I finish training. Bye, Bananas. <sighs> Bye, Morgan. <sighs> what beautiful flowers, Amy. And they smell beautiful too. Hi, Amy. Hi, Lulu. Ooh. They don't smell beautiful to me. That's not the flowers. That's something else. It's in this room somewhere. Getting warm. Getting warmer. Phew! Oh, it's Morgan's sneakers. My sneakers don't smell. I'll prove it. Here. Ugh. I'm sorry, Morgan, but that smell is too awful. You can't have those sneakers in the house. They're my favourite super fast sneakers. I need them for the sports day. They have to go out. If my sneakers go out, I'll have to go out too. Bye, Morgan. All right, then. If that's how you feel. Good work, B2. We're getting the hang of it now, B1. Hi, Morgan. What are you doing sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I don't want to stay with Lulu and Amy anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> they don't like my sneakers. And if they don't want my sneakers around, then I won't be around either. Gosh, that's serious. Where will you stay? Nowhere. But you have to stay somewhere. I suppose so. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Morgan, it's stay with the bananas time. You can stay here as long as you like. But we're sure that won't be for too long. You bananas are now my new best friends ever. Huh? huh? Now, what's to eat? I'm starving. Best friends? What about Lulu and Amy? Don't worry, B1. Morgan will make up with him soon. I'm sure you're right, B2. What are we going to do, B2? It's been five whole days, B1. And Morgan's still here. It's bananas trophic. But the worst thing of all... Hi, bananas. <sighs> I've just been out for a run. Morgan's sneakers still smell. That's it, B1. We have to get Morgan and the teddies back together again. But first, we have to fix Morgan's sneakers. Ready to start work, B1? Ready, B2. Barbecue tongs, please. Barbecue tongs. Right then, let's go. Prepare for super spraying, B1. Super sprayer ready, B2. Prepare for sneaker scrubbing, B1. Sneaker scrub ready, B2. Time for 
the sneaker drying, B1. Super sneaker dryer ready, B2. Prepare for flower power anti-smeller, B1. Flower power anti-smeller ready, B2. Do you think it will work, B1? There's only one way to tell, B2. Hello, teddies. Surprise! <gasps> Morgan sneakers! Run! Stop! It's okay. Are you sure? Go on, smell them. Uh, you first, Lulu. <gasps> You're right! They don't smell like Morgan sneakers at all. Well, well done, done, bananas! Hi, bananas. Hi, used to be best friends, teddies. We're sorry you had to leave, Morgan, but your sneakers really did smell bad. But now they smell nice again, we'd love you to come back home. Maybe I don't want to come back to the teddy house. What? Maybe I'm happy staying with my new best friends, the bananas. M Morgan? Thanks, bananas. Do you think we've got a problem, B1? I think we've got a big problem, B2. We have to get Morgan and the teddies back together. Yes, but how? Eggs and spoons! Who wants to be in the egg and spoon race? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's egg and spoon to the rescue time! Excuse us, Rad. Would you like to be in our team? Oh, yes! I love egg and spoon races. And we can race against uh, the teddies. But there are only two of us and there are three of you. Is there anyone here who'd like to join the teddies team? What about you, Morgan? Yes! I mean, um, no thanks. Who needs an egg and spoon race? <laughs> Even if it is my favourite race. Come on, then! Let's get this race started! Come on, Lulu! You can do it! You'll have to go faster than that, Amy. Well done, Bananas! Excellent spoon technique! Hurry, Lulu! Go faster! I'm going as fast as I can! Oh, hopeless teddies! They're gonna get thrashed! OK, Amy, go! Now it's your turn, Rat! Easy, Bananas. Those teddies will never catch me. Go faster, Amy. Look out! Oh, thanks, Morgan. Can't you go any faster? How can we when it's just two of us against three of them? Unless... Unless what? Unless someone else could join us? Someone who now has nice, clean sneakers? Oh, all right. But we're going to have to really move. Then let's get going. I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm an egg and spoon race winning rat. Thanks to my super fast sneakers. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great sports carnival. And look at all the ribbons we won. Thanks to your help, Morgan. It was fun. Does that mean you'll be moving back, Morgan? Bananas, I have some sad news for you. Oh? I am going back. It's my home. It's where I belong. Really? Sorry, Bananas. <laughs> it's OK, Morgan. We understand perfectly. Hooray! Phew. Do you smell what I smell, B1? I do, B2. It smells like... Stinky, stinky sneakers! Oh, I smell it too. But it's not my sneakers. It's Amy and Lulu's. Oh, he's right. Our sneakers smell too. <laughs> Even worse than Morgan's! Oh, teddies! <laughs> <laughs> B1, 
That's amazing! It's so real! You've done a great job, Amy. Thanks! It's just like Cuddles Town, but not so big. Is that us? And is that you? Yes! I want to have everybody else who lives in Cuddles Town in the model. But I've run out of blocks. We've got blocks. We'll get them right now. I'm sure we must have more blocks inside somewhere. Let's look. Hi! Bananas? Teddies? Ooh, what's that? Cuddles Town and the bananas and the teddies. But where am I? I should be here. Oh, no! I found one. Whoa. What was that? We're back with blocks. Uh oh. Topsy. Topsy. Uh, help! Are you all right? Tell us you're all right. I'm all right. <gasps> my beautiful model. All my work is ruined. Why did you break it, Topsy? Well, I... It's like someone pushed you. Oh, yes! That's it! I was pushed! Someone pushed me! You were pushed? Yeah, I was just standing there, looking at Amy's beautiful model, and... and I was pushed! Who would do a thing like that? It was... uh... Who, Topsy? A monster! A monster? A monster? What did this monster look like? Did it have tentacles? Two heads? Was it big? Was it scary? Um, uh... Which way did it go? I'm not sure. I think it went... that way! Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's monster finding time! This is great! We're looking for a monster! Will it be nice? Will it be friendly? Will there even be a monster? There must be a monster, Lulu! Topsy saw it! Can't you tell us a little bit about what it looked like? Oh, uh, well, it was so quick. I just saw this weird shape. I, I can't quite describe it. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. We'll find it. The bananas and I will look down at the waterfall. We'll check out the lake. Here we come, Mr. Monster! What will you do if you find it? We'll, um... What will we do, B2? We'll say, um... Hello, Monster! Exactly! Come on, Bananas! Coming, Morgan! OK, Bananas, come on over! Any sign of it, Morgan? Not yet. Do you really think he might be around here? If I was a monster, this is definitely where I'd hang out. Sounds good to me, Morgan. And me. Right, let's keep looking. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Here's the lake. Where should we start looking for it? Any ideas, Topsy? Uh, it's probably hiding. We should look everywhere. Stop talking and start looking. But we don't even know what we're looking for. Topsy will know it, won't you, Topsy? Um, uh, uh, Topsy? 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 Oh, why did I do this? I know. I'll write a letter from the monster. He'll say sorry and he'll never come back. That's it. Topsy! Topsy! What happened? Did the monster push you again? Um, yes, he did, I think. This sounds like a very tricky monster, B2. Very tricky, B1. We need help. We need Charlie. A monster? How exciting. Tell me more about this monster, Topsy. Uh, he was big. Big all over. Hmm, monsters are always big. I have it. Of course, it must be that. Must be what, Charlie? This! A dinosaur! 
dinosaur drama rama. And you say it's tricky? Super tricky. It keeps pushing poor Topsy over. Aha! Then that can only mean it's a trichosaurus. A trichosaurus? Wow! A trichosaurus? Was it that, Topsy? A trichosaurus? Uh, it could have been. We have to find it. And I have the very thing to do so. This monster scope will find the trichosaurus. How does it work, Charlie? Just turn the dial to trichosaurus. Like this? That's perfect. What now, Charlie? We wait until it beeps. Like that? Exactly like that. We found the monster. Where's the sound coming from, Morgan? It's coming from the beach. Then let's get down there. Are we really sure this monster actually exists? Wait! Wait for me! <laughs> Where's the signal coming from, Morgan? The monster is just over that dune. Aha! We found you at last, monster. Monster? What monster? It's just Camembert and Dolly. We were expecting a monster. Do we look like monsters? I hope not. It's just as I thought. There is no monster. Topsy, what really happened in our garden this morning? Oh, well... It's the monster scope. The Trichosaurus is back at Cuddlestown. Come on! Oh, not again. Well, I never. Never, ever. Where to, Morgan? Which way? I've lost it. It's gone. I don't believe it was here in the first place. Please, let's stop looking for a monster that isn't real. But Topsy saw it. Maybe she thought she saw it. She thought she saw it because she did see it. And we're going to catch it. How? Easy. Um, uh, how, Charlie? There's only one way to catch a monster. With a monster trap, of course. Then let's do it. Oh, this is silly. I'm going home. The trap's all ready. Oh, is that meant to be me? The Trichosaurus will come along and see you. And try and give you another push. And the net will catch him. <gasps> Someone's coming. The Trichosaurus? Quick, hide. It's Bernard. We have to stop him. What's all this then? Bernard! Get away! It's a trap! Oh dear! There's nothing in this dinosaur book about trichosauruses. The only footprints I see around here are Topsy's. Hmm. Could someone please explain what this is all about? We're in a monster trap. A monster trap? But it's, it's trapped, trapped us instead. instead. Who can get us out? Lulu can. Help! Lulu! Help! Huh? Lulu! What now? Over here. Where are you? Up here, Lulu. What are you doing up there? Don't ask me. I was only taking my morning walk. We'll tell you all about it. Just get us down, please. Do I move this? Yes, but whatever you do, don't do that. Ah! That was fun! pajama tastic. Can someone please explain to me what's going on? I think Topsy has something to say. Right, Topsy? Well, I... What is it, Topsy? You can tell us. Go on, Topsy. There's... there's no monster. I made it up. 
You what? So who broke my model? Oh, I did! I didn't mean to, it was an accident. I'm sorry, Amy. But why didn't you just say that in the first place? Well, because I didn't want everyone to be cross with me. We wouldn't have been cross, Topsy. Not very cross. Just a little bit. But that would have been a lot better than racing all over the place trying to find a monster that wasn't real. Okay, well, please forgive me. I promise never to do it again. We forgive you, Topsy. Oh, what a pity. A real pity, B1. It would have been so much fun to find a real monster. I think that's done it. My model is repaired. But it's not finished yet. It isn't? It's missing some things. It is? What are you talking about, Bananas? It's missing a Bernard. And a Charlie. And a Topsy. Marvellous. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Bananas. bananas. And it's also missing something else. What's that? A Trichosaurus! Oh, Bananas! <laughs> No B2. No B1. Ah! B2. B1. Wow! Ah! Huh? <laughs> B1. B2. Wow! <laughs> going on out there? The bananas are acting really weird. Maybe it's some sort of game. Oh no! It's no game. They're getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow is Banana Day. Of course, the special day where the bananas give each other presents. And try to surprise each other. Wow! Wow! Someone's at the front door. I think it might be a banana. Hi, B1. Excuse me, Morgan. Teddies, I need your help. It's banana day tomorrow. We know. And I need a surprise present for B2. We know. What can I give him? Um, we don't know. I don't know either. Hmm, OK. Let's, let's think about this. What did you give B2 last banana day? Pajamas. What did you give him on the banana day before that? Uh, pajamas. Do you always give B2 pajamas? He loves pajamas. But this banana day, I want to give B2 something that will surprise him. Someone's at the back door. We'd better answer it. Excuse us, B1. Hmm, surprise present. Not pajamas. What could it be? Hi, B2. Excuse me, Morgan. Teddies, I need your help. We know. Banana Day is tomorrow. You need a surprise present for B1. And you need an idea for the present. That's it. But how did you know? Uh, lucky guess? Let's think some more. What does B1 like? He likes pyjamas. Let's try something different. What does B1 really need? He needs pyjamas. OK, what would B1 really miss if he didn't have it? Ah, he definitely miss his pyjamas. Hmm. B1. Excuse us a moment, B2. You keep thinking about that present. Hmm. Any ideas, Teddies? When we can't think of a present, we make something for each other. Pyjama-rific! 
I can make something for B2. Uh, what could I make? How about a card? Or a painting? Or a drinking mug? A drinking mug? I'll show you. Morgan made us drinking mugs. We love them. Here they are. They're great. I want to make a drinking mug exactly like that for B2. B2. We'll be right back, B1. We've got an idea, B2. You can make something for B1. Pajamarific! That would be a great surprise. But what could I make? You could make a card or a painting. I know. I could make a drinking mug like that. No, you can't do that. No, a mug wouldn't be a good surprise at all. Why not? Uh, um, um, I mean, well, think, oh, well, well. Was... We know, Morgan. Excuse us, B2. We'll be right back. B1. Where did he go? Quick, back to B2. B2? <gasps> He's gone. B2? He's gone too. Oh, the bananas are both going to make the same present for each other. Well, maybe that's not so bad, though. That's right. The bananas do like the same things. So let's help them. And make sure their presents are really nice surprises. Even if they are the same thing. <laughs> I've got a great idea for a banana day surprise, B2. <laughs> I've got a great idea too, B1. But I need some help. And I need some help too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Let's Ask Charlie time! This is going to be a great surprise. Our best ever surprise. But you're not supposed to know my surprise, B1. And you're not supposed to know my surprise, B2. Ah, good morning, bananas. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Very strange. Very strange indeed. Charlie, have you seen the bananas? I have. They went that way. Charlie, we need help to help the bananas. Would you have something that could help them make drinking mugs? I have the very thing. But we can't let one banana know what the other banana is doing. Which means we need two things to help the bananas. Not a problem. I have the very two things. Ooh. Do you know what this is, B1? I do know. It's a pottery wheel. Correct, B1. Do you know how to use it? I once watched Morgan use one. You take a big lump of clay... That's the way. ..put it on the wheel and start it up. <gasps> you do know, B1. And as the clay goes around, you make what you want to make. And you want to make a drinking mug. <sighs> it is your first time, B1. Try again. I will. Oh, oh. oh, it does take a while to get the hang of it, B2. But keep on trying. I will. You're into it now, B1. It's looking very promising. Thanks, Charlie. This is going to be a great banana day surprise for B2. We hope so. And after you finish shaping the mug, we'll put it in this kiln. That looks like an oven. It is an oven. It heats the clay and makes it hard, just like a normal cup. That's amazing! You really cooked the mug in a kiln? That's right, B2. This is going to be a great banana day surprise for B1. We hope so. Let's go and see how B1 is doing. Good idea. We'll be right back, B2. We should check on B2. Let's do that. Excuse us, B1. We'll only be a moment. How's B1 going? Great. And B2? Fantastic. As long as we keep the bananas apart... They'll both have a terrific surprise for Banana Day tomorrow. Amy, Charlie, I finished. I did it. Lulu, Morgan, I did it. I finished. No, B1. Wait.
wait, B2. Go, Go back. back. B2. B1. Ah. <gasps> the mugs. Catch them. You got them! You sure did! My surprise present! Your surprise present, B2! Your surprise present, B1! We were both making mugs! <laughs> it's not a surprise now! I'm sorry not to have a real surprise present for you, B2! And I'm sorry not to have a real surprise present for you, B1! But I've still got a Banana Day gift for you. And I've got a Banana Day gift for you. It might not be a surprise. But it'll be banana -rific. Maybe it's too hard for the bananas to surprise each other. Because they always do the same thing. No matter how much we help. What do we do with these things? They're no good now. I don't know about that. Don't move. How long can't we move for? What are you going to do, Charlie? It's surprise time! Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. Do you know what today is? I do know what today is. Happy Banana Day! Oh, I wonder what it could be. This is so exciting! Pajamas! Thank you, B2. Thank you, B1. I love new pyjamas. They're pyjama-tastic! How will we celebrate Banana Day, B2? We could go to the beach. Or the lake. Or we could open those presents. Presents? From B2 to B1. From B1 to B2. I didn't know you were giving me another present. We've, We've got, got a surprise! surprise. <laughs> Our mugs. That really is a surprise! Who can that be? Coming! Happy Banana Day! Thank you for the mugs. What a great surprise! We only helped a little. You made them. We're going to use our surprise mugs all the time. Starting from now. Who wants lemonade? <laughs> oh, yes, please. This is the best banana day ever. The very best. Here's to the bananas. Happy Banana Day! Oh, bananas! <laughs> it's nice of Bernard to lend us his sailboat, B1. I love sailing. After you, B2. After you, B1. Thank, Thank you. you. Now to untie the rope, B1. Leave it to me, B2. Are you all right, B1? J just a bit wet, B2. There. Now to put the sail up, B1. I'll do it, B2. Oh, the sail's stuck, B2. I'll help you, B1. <laughs> now we're all set, B1. Away we go. Oh, dear. There's one thing missing. You're right, B2. There's no wind. Oh. Ooh. What was that? Oh no! Look! <gasps> A shark! <laughs> That's no shark! It's Skid the dolphin! Hello, Hello Skid. Skid! I think Skid wants to play, B1. But we'll need some beach toys. Wait here, Skid. We'll be back in a minute. This should keep Skid happy. Let's, Let's go, go and, and have fun! We're gonna play games, games We're gonna play games We're gonna play games today Games, games We're gonna play games And we're gonna play all day Uh, B1? 
Do you notice anything? Notice what, B2? While we've been playing, the tide's gone out. Look! You're right, B2. It's left Skid stuck in this little pool. It'll be hours before the sea comes back in again. What, what are, are we, we going, going to do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's saving Skid time! But how will we save him, B1? Hmm. I know, B2. Let's make the pool bigger. Good idea, B1. We'll pour buckets of water in until it's so big it joins up with the sea again. Let's go and get some buckets. Do you think we've got enough buckets, B1? I hope so, B2. Let's go and save Skid. All my buckets are filled, B1. Mine too, B2. Let's take them to Skid's pool. Oh! One more try, B1. Right, B2. Bucketfuls is that, B1? Um, lots, B2. Skid's pool should be much bigger. Maybe we need to think of another way to save Skid, B1. I know. Why don't we dig a channel from the pool to the sea? Good thinking, B1. Then Skid will be able to swim straight back home. Let's go and get our spades. Do you think we've got enough spades, B1? Oh, we only need one each, B2. Oh, that's right. Let's dig that channel! We... we made it, B1. It looks a bit crooked, B2. Very crooked, B1. But Skid will still be able to swim home through it. You're right, B2. Let's go and show him. Come on, Skid. Over here. This is the way home. See? He won't go into it, B1. I know. Let's catch him and carry him here. Then he'll see how safe it is. Good idea, B1. You go that way and I'll go this way. Ready, B1? Ready, B2. Go! He thinks it's a game, B1. A funny game, B2. Wait a minute, B1. Why don't we make it into a game? Great idea, B2. Hey, Skid, do you want to play catch? Oh, look! The ball's gone into the channel. Can you get it for a skid? Huh? What's wrong, skid? I think he's stuck, B1. The channel isn't deep enough. Oh, oh dear. dear. Let's try pushing him, B1. Ooh. I think we're tickling him, B1. Ah. Oh! Oh. This isn't working, B1. Nothing's working, B2. Hello, bananas. What are you up to? We're trying to save Skid. Save Skid? The tide went out and left him stuck in this little pool. So we're helping him get back out to the sea. But nothing we do seems to work. Oh. Hmm. What you need is a dolphin transporter. A, a dolphin, dolphin transporter? transporter? It's something to move a dolphin from place to place. Have you got one, Charlie? <laughs> no, I don't. But I've got a feeling I'm about to invent one. Come with me, bananas. Pass the hammer, B1. Pass the hammer, B2. Ow! Oops, sorry, B1. No, I'm done, B2. Here you go, Charlie. Thanks, bananas. Now I need a sheet of glass. From over there, bananas. 
Leave it to us, Charlie. Ah, uh, can you see any glass, B1? Um, not really, B2. Look out, bananas! Oof! I think we found it, B1. I think we did, B2. Okay, all we need are the wheels. There, the dolphin transporter is all finished. What do you think, bananas? It's perfect, Charlie. Now let's go and save Skid. <laughs> Hello, Skid. We're going to take you back to the sea. Uh, B1, do you notice anything? Notice what, B2? OK, bananas. Let's push the transporter into the water. Push! Great! Now we open the hatch so Skid can swim inside. Come on, Skid. In you go. Great! Now we'll have him back in the sea in no time. I think I just noticed what you noticed, B2. We'd better tell Charlie, B1. Um, Charlie? We have to tell you something. Wait a minute, Bananas. Right now we need to pull the transporter out of the water. But... Ready? Pull! OK, now we can take Skid back to the sea. Huh? Where is the sea? That's what we're trying to tell you, Charlie. The sea's right here! Oh, oh dear. We spent so long building the transporter, the tides come back in again. So Skid doesn't need saving anymore. I guess we'd better put Skid back in the water. There. Now I'd better go home too, Bananas. Thanks for your help, Charlie. It's a pity there's no wind, or we could take you for a sail in Bernard's boat. That would be fun. Never mind. Thanks for the thought. What's Skid doing now? Don't do that, Skid. If you take the rope off, the boat will float away. Look. <laughs> He's pulling the boat along. What's he trying to tell us, B1? I'm not sure, B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Skid wants to take us sailing. How much fun is this, B1? Lots and lots of fun, B2. You can't beat sailing, especially with a friend like Skid to help. Thanks, Skid. <laughs> Good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Morgan. What a beautiful day it is. Just right for having some fun. Breakfast time! Coming, Amy! Good morning, you two sleepyheads. What's for breakfast, Amy? Every bear's favourite, porridge. Porridge? Just like in the story? What story? My favourite story, Goldilocks. It's about three bears, just like us. And you know what they have for breakfast every day? Porridge? Exactly. Uh, it is cooked, isn't it? Try it. Hello, teeth and hello, gums. Open mouth and here it comes. Teddies, quick, it's an emergency. What kind of emergency, B1? A big kite emergency. Help! Get me down! Come on! Ah! Help! Grab hold of me, B1! I'll try, B2! Gotcha, B2! Thanks, B1! Whoa! Oh, no! Now it's got both bananas! Hang on, bananas! I'm coming! A 
Got you! Whoa. Now it's got the bananas and Morgan! B2, let go of the kites! Are you sure, Lulu? Positive! If you say so! Whoa. Good work, bananas! But what about our kite? It's heading for the park! After it! Wait, Wait for us! Ooh, porridge! Yum! My favourite! It smells so good! Maybe I could try just one teeny weeny spoonful. Ouch! That's too hot! Oh dear, what a mess. I'll have to clean that up. After I have just one little taste... Oh, oh, yuck! That's too cold! I wonder what this one's like. Mmm, just right! Oh, this is the tastiest porridge ever! Oh, mm, mm. Can anyone see it? Look, up in the tree! There you are, you cheeky kite! Let's pull it down, B1! I think the wind is too strong for such a big kite. If you only had a smaller one... We do! At home! Then let's go and get it! Stop! Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? Well, we haven't eaten our breakfast yet. Breakfast? What kind of breakfast? <laughs> Goldilocks's favourite! Porridge! Porridge? <laughs> That's funny. The door's open. <gasps> my porridge! And my book! Wait a minute. This is just like in the story. One bowl was too hot, one was too cold, and the last one <gasps> was just right so she ate it all up. Morgan! Lulu! What is it? What's wrong? Goldilocks has eaten now porridge! Goldilocks? Amy, Goldilocks isn't real. She's just a girl in a story. Oh, well, look! Too hot, too cold, and just right! Maybe the wind blew the bowl off the table. But who ate the porridge? I'm sure there's a simple explanation. There is! It was Goldilocks! <laughs> Honestly, Amy! <laughs> Come on, let's clean up the mess. <sighs> Hello, Amy. Would you like to fly our kite with us? Thanks, Bananas. But I might just read my book. Oh, what's wrong, Amy? Is there anything we can do to help? I wish there was, Bananas. You see, I think Goldilocks ate my porridge. Porridge? <laughs> <laughs> but Morgan and Lulu don't think Goldilocks is real. Don't worry, Amy. We'll help you find Goldilocks. But how would you do that? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's banana disguise time! Great costume, Bear 1. Thanks, Bear 2. When Goldilocks sees us, she'll think we're just a pair of bears, not special bear detectives who are out to track her down. Magnifying glasses ready? Let's look for clues. That Goldilocks must be around here somewhere. Ow! Sorry, Bear One. <laughs> no harm done, Bear Two. I think we should start over at the Teddy's house, Bear One. Good idea, Bear Two. I'll get it! Uh, uh, hello? Don't move, Goldilocks. We've got you red-handed. Bananas. I'm not Goldilocks. I'm Amy. You are? You're right, Amy. You are you. Why are you dressed up like bears? This way, if Goldilocks sees us, she won't suspect we're after her. Good plan. Uh, I think I'll show you the scene of the crime. I made the porridge and left the bowls here. This is where Goldilocks found them. Let's examine the scene for clues, Bear One. What's going on? Stay where you are, Goldilocks. We've caught you red-handed. 
<laughs> He's not Goldilocks. He's Morgan. He is? Then you must be Goldilocks. She's not Goldilocks either, Bananas. I'm Lulu. Oh, so you are. Hi, Lulu. Come on, Bear Two. Let's go outside to look for clues. I'll cook some more porridge. Look for signs. Look for clues. Stay alert for any news. Be on guard. Ears to the ground. And listen hard for any sound. Banana detective, banana detective, are on the trail, hot on the track. Banana detectives, banana detectives, no case too hard to crack. Do you smell what I smell, B1? I smell porridge, B2. Porridge. <laughs> That's it. What's it? It's Goldilocks' favourite food. Yes, so we can use it to set a trap. Here's the porridge, just like you wanted, Bananas. Now to make sure Goldilocks smells it. Now quick, let's hide and wait for Goldilocks. <gasps> oh, there's that delicious porridge smell again. Mm, I really shouldn't, but it just smells so good. Hey, do I smell porridge? Don't move. We've got you now, Goldilocks. Wait, he's not Goldilocks. Oh, you're right. He's Morgan. Look, the porridge is gone. Goldilocks is here. Don't let her get away. Got you, Goldilocks. Stay right where you are. Uh-oh. You're not Goldilocks. You're Topsy. So you're the one who ate my porridge. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Amy. And did you break my bowl too? Yes, Lulu. And spill my porridge all over the table? Yes, Morgan. But why, Topsy? Because I love porridge so much, I just can't resist it. I'm sorry, Teddies. I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'll come over and clean your house for a whole week. That sounds good to me. We accept. But you will forgive me, please. Of course we will, Topsy. I know my porridge tastes good. All this trouble just over a bowl of porridge. Porridge! <laughs> right, Bananas. I think it's time you learned something. Follow me. All right, Bananas. It's time to taste some proper porridge. Ready? Uh, after you, B2. No, no, after you, B1. Come on, Bananas, both together. Well? This porridge. It's banana-tastic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's porridge-eating time. And there's some for all of us. Porridge time, everyone. You know what, B1? This is the best porridge we've ever eaten. And it's all thanks to Amy. Amy, you're pyjama rific <laughs> Thanks, Bananas. Oof. Oh, Bananas. <laughs> oh, look, B1. Rat's got a letter. Why don't we take it to him? Good thinking, B1. Rat, you've got a letter. Oh, it's from my dear old mother. Teas and whiskers. She's coming to visit me tomorrow. Don't you want to see your mother? It's just that, well, my mother thinks I live in a big house. A big house? Yes, with servants. Servants? She thinks I'm the mayor of Cuddlestown. The mayor? But, Rat, you're not the mayor. I know. So why does your mother think you are? Uh, well, I, I suppose I might have told her that. <gasps> you, you told, told your, your mother, mother a fib? 
And now, when she visits, she'll be very upset to find I'm not the mayor at all. Rat, it was very naughty to tell your mother something that wasn't true. I know, Bananas. But what am I going to do about tomorrow? You told your mother a fib. I know, I know, it was wrong. But can you help me, Teddies? Please? I suppose so. If it was just for tomorrow. But what about the big house and the servants? We can look after that, Rat. Mayor for a day? Oh, I like that. And Rat, you have to promise us you'll write to your mother afterwards and tell her the truth. Do I have to? Yes! All right, I promise. <laughs> Hello, Mayor Rat! Hello, everyone. Well, Rat, just for today, this is your house. My house? Oh, I like it. And we're going to be your servants. Excellent. Now, I'll need the house cleaned, the garden tidied, a three-course lunch cooked, and a table set under the trees. And that's all. Off you go. Uh, um, uh... You missed a spot, Lulu. <sighs> yes, Mayor Rat. Find a softer cushion for my mother, Bananas. Yes, Mayor Rat. More vegetables, Morgan. My mother loves vegetables. Yes, Mayor Rat. Oh, phew. It's lucky Rat is only mayor for one day, B1. Very lucky, B2. I don't remember telling anyone to take a break. And I'm the mayor. You're the pretend mayor, Rat. Well, yes. When is your mother going to get here anyway? Are you sure she'll be here in time for lunch? Perhaps I should go and get the letter to check. Being Rat's servant isn't as much fun as I thought, B1. Mayor Rat speaking. Oh, oh, hello, Mother. Oh, you're feeling sick and might not come at all. Oh, that's terrible news. Oh, well, try and get better, Mother. Uh, bye. Oh, cheese and whiskers. If my mother isn't coming, that means my day of being mayor is already over. But I like being mayor. Oh, there must be some way to get my mother to come here. Oh, think, Rat, think. <gasps> of course, my dress-up box. <laughs> oh, that's it. <gasps> this is exactly the kind of thing my mother wears. <laughs> the teddies and bananas will never know the difference. I'd better take my mare clothes with me too, just in case. <laughs> We'll get it, Teddies! Oh, hello there. I'm Mrs. Rat. Oh, please, come in. Oh, thank you, dears. Uh, sorry I'm late. Can we take that heavy bag for you? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, I'll keep it. Oof. Your son isn't here right now, Mrs. Rat, but he should be back soon. Oh, I, I don't mind, dear. Hmm, my, what's that delicious smell? That's lunch cooking for you and Mayor Rat. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. I'll have it now, thanks. But don't you want to wait for your son? <laughs> oh, he won't mind. And you wouldn't want an old lady to starve now, would you? Now, what's for dessert? You want dessert now? Why not? But, Mrs. Rat, shouldn't you wait for your son? Uh, right. In that case, I might have a lie down. I'm feeling a bit tired. No problem, Mrs. Rat. I'll show you upstairs. And let us carry your bag. Oh, I'm fine with it. Really? Ooh. She's quite strong for an old lady, isn't she, B1? Very strong, B2. Here you go, Mrs. Rat. Just let us know if you want anything. Thank you, dear. 
Now, it's time for Mayor Rat to make an appearance. Rat's taking a long time to come back from the shop. Perhaps we should go and look for him, Teddies. Good idea, Bananas. <laughs> really, Bananas? Sorry, Rat. Rat, your mother's here and has eaten her lunch. And most of yours as well. Uh, really? Well, I'll just finish off that pie then. What? Uh, don't you want to see your mother first? No hurry. I I'd hate to disturb her now. How did you know she was having a nap? Oh, uh, well, this is her usual nap time, that's all. <laughs> Delicious. Now, I'll just pop up and get changed. <laughs> I mean, wake her. Rat and his mother are behaving quite strangely, don't you think? Very strangely. Thank you, dear. We'll get it, Teddies. Hello there. I'm Mrs. Rat. But how did you get out there, Mrs. Rat? Weren't you having a sleep upstairs? Upstairs? Sorry, is this where my son lives? You mean you haven't seen him yet? Didn't he come up to wake you? Oh dear, now I'm getting very confused. Do you mind if I sit down? Come this way. Thank you. Somehow there seems to be two Mrs. Rats. Mm, you're right, Lulu. One of the Mrs. Rats is just pretending. So, Mrs. Rat, you only just arrived? I wasn't feeling well earlier, so I rang Rat and told him I wasn't coming. You told him you weren't coming? Yes, but I feel better now, so he'll probably be surprised to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Bananas, would you show Mrs. Rat out to the garden? Come with us, Mrs. Rat. What a lovely nap. Oh, a friend of yours has just arrived. <gasps> a friend? <laughs> uh, but who? She's out in the garden and she'd love to meet you. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Rat, we'd like you to meet another Mrs. Rat. Mother, goodness gracious, who are you? That's Mrs. Rat. Mrs. Rat? This is Mrs. Rat. Then who is that Mrs. Rat? Um, I'm her sister. But I don't have a sister. I, I, I mean her daughter. You don't look like my daughter. Her, her niece? Her cousin? <laughs> Rat, is, is that, that you? you? I'm afraid so, Bananas. <laughs> Rat, darling. Why are you wearing that dress? What am I going to tell her? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's tell the truth time, Rat. So, I'm not the mayor at all, and I don't live in a big house with servants. I should never have told you, Fibs. I'm so sorry, Mother. Oh, Rat, you silly thing. As if I care whether you're the mayor or not. You weren't disappointed. Oh, of course not. I only came to see you, dear. Not your job or your house. The most important thing is that you have these wonderful friends. They're the ones you should say sorry to. Yeah, I suppose I should. In fact, I think they deserve more than an apology. Oh, do I have to? Thanks, Rat! Is that all? No, I'll have a cold drink, please, Rat. Me too, Rat. And Mrs. Rat needs something as well. Just a cup of tea, dear, if it's no trouble. And we'd like some more honey cakes, please, Rat. Cold drinks, tea, honey cakes, oh, cheese and biscuits. Do you think Rat makes a better waiter than a mayor, B1? Oh, yes, B2. Much better. Ha, 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 ha!